Well, I, I, I got to ask this question just because uh, from a from a video game standpoint, you voiced, we're not even going to go down the list. Let's just say it's a lot. But <laughs> the one that's always stuck out to me, which uh, we were in Metal Gear, you actually played the character of Vamp. Right. Um, number one, uh, I loved how you played him. Um, you made me, you made me want to hate him. <laughs> you kind <laughs> yeah. of made me want to hate the character, um, which is great. But um, how did you actually, because of because of a franchise like that, how did you come into that role as far as as far as being Vamp and just uh, coming up with that idea with just the the voice, the the mannerisms? Because I, I was just curious because I was like, Bill did this, and I'm like, that's impressive as hell. So I'm just asking you, just what was your perspective on that? Well, actually, that was part fandom and part mm -hmm. lucky. Because um, mm -hmm. I played Metal Gear 1 and mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, back then, it was the most cinematic video mm -hmm. game. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, with that whole stealth thing, it was one of the few video games you couldn't win just by hitting your button, hitting your button, hitting your button, hitting your button. <laughs> you know, you actually had to think. Right. And, mm -hmm. you know, act out the story. So mm -hmm. I was blown away by how great, the how great the game was. And then I heard, or maybe I, was, I think I was at um, mm -hmm. a recording studio, and I saw a mm -hmm. casting woman who I'd worked with on a bunch of, you know, Cartoon Network shows. And mm -hmm. I said, hey, Chris, what you up to? What you doing? It's like, oh, I'm uh, casting um, the new Metal Gear 2. And I was like, oh, you're doing another <laughs> Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Could I come in and audition for something, please? please? I, it was one of the only times in my career I begged for an audition. <laughs> okay. And thankfully, she allowed me. Although, originally, I came in to just, you know, audition for some little minor character. Like, mm -hmm. I think it was DARPA Chief or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, DARPA, oh, DARPA Chief. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I was just going through the audition. And then halfway through, she goes, um, Phil, um, actually... Since you're here, there's this other character we uh, need cast, but we've been having some trouble mm -hmm. trying to find somebody who can get this role down. Mm -hmm. And and then she describes Vamp to me. Mm -hmm. He's a character called Vamp, but he's may or may not actually be a vampire. Um, and he's you know some sort. Of, they think he was to be you know Eastern European, but not any specific you know, country accent, and mm -hmm. you know, and I think she even said something about his, you know, gender, not gender, but sexual orientation or something, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But basically, it was a lot of things about, mm -hmm. what the it was more about what the character isn't than what mm -hmm. he is. And I was like, huh, all right. Mm -hmm. But what I decided to do was, well, let's say he is a vampire. Because mm -hmm. if you a vampire, you don't have to breathe. What would your voice sound like with no oxygen coming in and out of you. Oh, okay. Mm. And so I decided to do five today, or rather six. Mm -hmm. Five today, or rather six. Mm, strange smell. You smell like Are you? It has to be. And then I saw her, you know, through the glass. I saw her go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh. I think I did it right. Yeah. Like I'm on a <laughs> second. Cre I creeped her. I creeped the casting woman out. <laughs> but, that, but that that right there is why I want to know. Because I mean, between that and Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines, uh, it's mm. like you, your approach to almost the same in video game acting and same in video game voice acting as it is in animation. <laughs> it's just that it seems you have a different approach to each character, how you do it. And that's why I was like, I just love to hear the thought process behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's harder with the video games because mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they tend, because it's all digital, mm -hmm. they don't have cells, you know, and character designs and stuff to show you. It's like, mm -hmm. no, no, that's all back at the office on the computers. And they don't give you the whole, you know, like when you do a cartoon, it's a half hour cartoon, they give you the script and you read it the night before. Mm -hmm. But a video game is five hours of, 
you know, cut scenes. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody handing you that script. (laughs) You know, they just give you, you know, seven pages with all your lines and then all your death screams. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, it's a little harder to embody it, to make it real, to figure out what the character is, what they're feeling, you know, but you got, that's what you got to do. Right. Oh yeah, you you, know. you you definitely nailed it. That's why I was like, it's it. The first time I played, I was like, first time I played, I was like, okay, loved it. Kind of went back a few years later, and this is after I've seen your voice actor roles, and I get back to vamp again. I'm like, and I, and I had that moment like I talked about where I recognize the voice. And I'm like, go back look at the credits. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I no, it thought it was just me because yeah. I'm like, I know that voice. Like, I know that voice. Now I gotta know. And my wife's like, why are you reading the credits? Ah stop. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, it's, but it's so like I said, not not to go into the like I said, you have a long history of video game credits that I, you know, I'll be here all night talking about them. But that one and Volgrim from Darksiders, those were my two favorite voices that you did in mm. video games. And I'm Volgrum, mm-hmm. I don't know how you came up with that. <laughs> that was hold up. the the voice you pulled for Volgrum. It's like mm-hmm. it's almost like you. And again, it's like taking a mix between um, the snake from Jungle Book and putting Iago from Aladdin together and just <laughs> making it seamless. And I'm like, Jesus. that's impressive as hell. Well, you know, it's funny you say that, Blake Spartan, because sometimes mm-hmm. you know, in my head, mm-hmm. you I'll either draw a voice from a person mm-hmm. in my life you know who mm-hmm. i feel is similar to this character like uh, you know like um in uh, futurama there's a character robot preacher mm-hmm. <laughs> that is you know completely taken from mm-hmm. an actual you know preacher friend of my 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 minister another aunt of mine who's a minister she's mm-hmm. hanging out with this you know preacher uh, you, like who was basically like a cartoon version of a preacher. He's a big round dude. He's like one circle for his body, one circle for his head. And, and really? Reverend JC? Really? You trying to get you trying to get higher. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I felt if they're gonna be a preacher, it should sound like a real preacher. That's but for the Baptist. Right? But, but, yeah. but sometimes you reach into the energy of another performer you know. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I've told this story many times, going into audition for Jon Stewart in Justice League, Mm -hmm. the person who auditioned right in front of me Mm -hmm. was Dennis Haysbert. Ooh. Wow. And I was like, wow, wait holy wait. shit. Wow. He looked like the human <laughs> version of the cartoon character. Yeah. Yeah. The president was in front of him, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Because right. Dennis, yeah. Dennis, yeah, Dennis is huge, <laughs> you know. I mean, if, if Dennis was wearing green, he would have looked like the live action version. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but Dennis also has a really deep, powerful voice. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, well, he looked like the character. The character <laughs> should sound like him. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in and did my version of a Dennis mm-hmm. Haysbert voice. And for Vulgram, there was something about the character looking mm-hmm. at it. I thought, you know what? I'm lucky I got this. Because <laughs> this seems like a role that Mark Hamill would kill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, maybe the maybe he should would sound a little bit like Mark's Joker voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so I began to do, I began to do uh, something yeah. in that realm. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, Horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Volgrim, merchant of the damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. Yeah, and, and that, they and they agreed. They said, "Okay, we like that for Volgrim." Like, wow, oh, I'm still tripping over the good, fact. Good that thing Mark Hamill isn't behind me. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still tripping over that. You had the president. You had the president in front of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, like I said, yeah, the president. You said Dennis Haysbert. I'm like, yo, that's wait, what? Mm-hmm. 